What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about how to spam your rise up badge or I think we could say as well how to spam your standing dunks. On the first part we'll talk about all the stuff that can give you more standing dunks and for the second part these are more on controls on how can you actually get the dunks. I really advise to watch the video fully so it will make full sense. It's not going to be that long anyway. And after watching, please let me know in the comment section any recommendation for a topic. So now let's get right into it. So now for the first part, what are the stats and badges that can get you more standing dunks? There could be a lot of it, but here are the main ones. So for the badges, two of the main ones are Rise Up Badge and Fast Switch. Secondary badges will be your Drop Stepper and Back Down Punisher. And in terms of stats, of course the main one will be standing dunk rating, and secondary stats will be your strength and your post control ratings, and of course, your height. For those of you who don't know, the taller your player is, the more chances you can get on triggering standing dunks when you have a defender in front of you. Again, there might be some other stats and badges that could be related in some way on doing standing dunks, these are just the main ones. So that's it for the boring part, and now let's talk about the actual application. Now for the first one, and I think one of the most important thing to understand in terms of standing dunks, even if you have 99 standing dunk with Hall of Fame Rise Up Badge against a really small defender, it's not guaranteed that you'll be able to pull a standing dunk in front of them. I know in real life if you put Shaq in front of a guard, let's say Steph Curry, 9 times out of 10 or probably 10 out of 10, that'll be a dunk. Unfortunately though, <laughs> that's not how it works on 2K. It's been like this since I became a content creator that was 2K20. Or I think even before that. So try not to expect that you'll automatically dunk on smaller defenders if you have max ratings. You have to do some moves first before you can do it. Now for the next part, let's talk about the actual moves. But before we go to the actual post moves, let's talk about some situational ways to do some standing dunks. First one, utilize your warm actions. Usually if you warm on an offensive board, you'll end up on a good position like this one. If you want to learn more about how to worm or swim through box outs, just watch this video here on the channel. Next one, you have to utilize your pick and rolls. If you have high strength, which I assume you do, the moment you move after you set a screen, the game will give you cutting animations like this one. And usually this will give you an open lane for a standing dunk. And now for the next part, the post up moves. And just a quick disclaimer, only do this move against a mismatch. It's just the way it is, it's really hard to do standing dunks in a good rate versus a legit big man build. Yeah, maybe every now and then, maybe you can pull some, but in terms of accurately getting standing dunks, no. So only do this move if you have a mismatch. So basically, you just need to pose to get into this position, so that's where your back down punisher and strength will come to play, and the moment you get to a good position, now it's time to do a drop step. And that's where your drop stepper badge and strength will come to play. So basically, there are two ways to drop step, you can either go this way, Or this way and here's how to do it I don't really like going this way because even if you successfully trigger an animation somehow the defender will still be in front of you and will still affect your shot now what you want is this way sometimes you can even use it even without contact animations drop stepping this way will get you square to the basket and best case scenario you will stun your opponent especially if they have low strength and now for the most important part only try to do a dunk if you get this animation here, that little stun animation. Yeah, you may look open, but trust me, the moment the defender hit triangle, he can still challenge your shot. I know in real life that's money, but in 2k, that's not a good shot. Even a smaller defender can still make you miss. And here you can see, I didn't get the stun animation, I passed the ball. I didn't want to force it. Again, only take the shot if you get the stun animation. And now for the dunk controls, this one here is personal preference. I have a huge delay so I don't use dunk meter. I only use right stick up and it's been working for me really good. But if you're really good with dunk meter and you think you can make at least 9 times out of 10, then go for it. But if you're going to use the dunk meter then you will just miss a lot and you can only make like 6-7 times out of 10, might as well do it with right stick up only. So that's everything on my list. If you want to add something, just leave it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.